Hi, I'm Natalia and welcome to today's episode. Today, I'm going to show you a vegetarian version of the antipasto sushi. Have you seen that episode? If not, we will put the link down below and up top, right or left, I don't even know <laughs> which way it goes. Um, but we'll make sure that you are linked to that because in that episode, I actually talk about how I make this special risotto rice to make this sushi. So you're definitely gonna wanna check that one out. So, do you like to entertain? Do you wanna be super unique? Now, the other episode was on making the antipasto style sushi, but it was not vegetarian. Now here I have come up with a vegetarian version for all my friends who don't eat meat, which is amazing. So we have our risotto style sushi rice. We put it right onto the mat. Nice and thin layer. And if you have not made sushi before, this might be your absolute favorite roll that we start with. Now, what makes this sushi so yummy is all the fresh, delicious ingredients. But what makes it unique is the texture of this risotto rice. So this is rice cooked a little bit differently. It's a little bit overcooked than you would make for normal risotto. So you don't have this, this al dente flavor to this, uh, al dente texture, I'm sorry, to this. So it's a little bit softer. So what we do is we use in our hands is we spread this out in the mat in a nice thin layer. So as you can see, I'm kind of pressing it in and pushing. So you pr press and push. So this is really good to have a variety at your parties because once you have all the rice prepared already for the other antipasto sushi, you might as well make a batch of the vegetarian ones. I know before I have a party, I always ask if the guests have any dietary limitations or if they have any specific preferences. Okay, so we are going about halfway up this mat. I'm gonna flatten it out. And now we start. So for this sushi, we have this beautiful selection of vegetarian ingredients. We're gonna start with fresh basil leaves. Somebody's going to be so happy eating this today. Now I have some blanched asparagus. So we're gonna lay the asparagus here. If it's a little bit long, we can trim it. Just like so. And so I took marinated peppers right from the jar and we slice them into nice long thin strips. I cannot tell you how amazing and surprisingly delicious this is. Maybe unsurprisingly. I think your guests will be really thrilled. So now I have cucumber. So I, I slice cucumber into these long, thin strips as well. So we're going to pile this cucumber right on top here. And the last but not least, I took a bowl of the mozzarella cheese and cut it into nice, also thin strips, just to make sure that it all is that consistent in size. All right, so now what we do, watch this. We take our sushi mat, and then we tuck all of this stuff in, and we roll gently. We roll until the rice connects, okay? And now we open it. And we'll move it over and roll once more. And here we are, here's our sushi roll. Now let me show you how we're going to plate this because it's going to be absolutely beautiful. All right, so now that we have our roll ready, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it. The way that I cut it is I usually cut it in half and then in half and then in half once more. Mm -mm -mm. This is so delicious and nice and fragrant as well. I'm using these cheese boards, the little teeny ones that I have, and you can use anything that you want. On the bottom, 
I made this delicious artichoke style pesto. So what it is, it's just regular pesto with a little four to six ounce jar of marinated artichokes, right, pulsed in, in the food processor. So we spread our pesto down on a plate, on this little board. And now we move our sushi here. Here's a little trick. Put the end piece on the inside so that the outside all looks nice and perfect. These are so pretty and delicious. Okay, so we got to this point here. Now the next step is I take this balsamic glaze. Always a good idea to shake the bottle and we're gonna top this with balsamic glaze. This is so pretty. Not only am I moving the bottle, but I'm moving my body. I don't know why. So we give it a nice drizzle of balsamic glaze. And then I use this beautiful, beautiful microgreens right on top here. And now look at how incredible this makes it look. Just gives it that final touch. Final touch of pizzazz. This is something that you could see at one of the finest restaurants easily. We actually had the antipasto version of this at our restaurant Speaks Clam Bar in Florida. So this recipe I originally created for the restaurant and the vegetarian version I created for my friends and so that you can now enjoy it. Here we are. And just like that. Now, doesn't this look like a little miniature antipasto garden on the plate? So pretty. I'm super, super excited for you to make this at home for your friends. I'm super excited for you to taste this. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Give this video a like, subscribe, and live a deliciously healthy life.